Greetings! I wanted to just talk to you quickly about something on my mind and that is CD-ROM based media and how exciting it was in the 90s. I think sometimes we forget how exciting these things were back in those days. Before the dawn of CD-ROM pretty much all we had were things like this, floppy disks and tapes and you couldn't fit a lot of programs on here. You know, I used to go around my friend's house and try and cram as many things onto a disc off his computer that I think I might like to play around with at home, like utilities and games and little shareware things, and just cram as many onto a disc or maybe PK zip them over several discs and then go home and look at this treasure trove. But in the early 90s, CD-ROM landed and people started talking about it on Bad Influence and shows and consoles came out like the CD32 and it was kind of a must have thing even though machines like the CD32 didn't really do anything extra than other machines they just had more storage space but it was that extra storage space which was somehow appealing I think I first really experienced this with adverts in Amiga and Atari ST magazines with like massive spreads of all the CD-ROMs you could order fooled to the brim of PD software and images and sounds it was like a little treasure trove on just one disc and they were about 20 quid but in my mind I could have got one of those discs and that would have been like a lifetime's worth of searching it would have been like Christmas day every day looking through that CD I mean nowadays with the dawn of the internet everything is at our fingertips and there's a bit too much you know, there's so much you don't feel like going into it and having a look at a specific thing because you can't get through all of it but with a CD that's all you had on that CD and I would like literally spend hours going through that CD, looking at all the directories, what was in the directories. Even if a program didn't work, it would sometimes have additional executables, which may be able to do something. It was just a goldmine of things, of programs, of amazingness. And because of all the stuff we have now, you just don't get that. You just don't get the chance to sit down with a CD-ROM and just find out what the hell is on it. The first time I got a CD-ROM drive was in 96, I believe, when I got a Creative Labs quad speed drive from my 486DX266. And then that opened up a world of magazines and cover discs. And like, literally there was loads on these cover discs. And it would, I'd buy one at a weekend with my paper round money. And I just spent ages going through all the demos and stuff. Like here we have uh, Tomb Raider 2, uh, Torok, Fast Forms 3, Jedi Knight, it was just like 40 popular utilities. What do they do? What can I do with my Windows setup? How can I enhance it? Just things like that. And look at this one, look, this is jam packed. There's so many words and letters on there. Look at the back. Look at all the things you get on here. The Essential PC Toolkit, toolkit Top Top Utility Programs, Internet Suite 1, Web Talk, Cyber Bud Light. Mech Wars, Bedlam, Cyberstorm, Earth Siege 2, Hind, Mech Warrior, Draw Plus, Design Works, it's just never ending. It's like a gold mine. And that excitement is just lost, and I miss it. Which is why I do videos going through old discs I had. It's just fun of finding these programs I'd long forgotten about and finding out what they do. I'm going to do a few videos where I start going through cover discs like this because these were just amazing. And like, I would buy more than one PC magazine a week if I could afford it, just to get the contents of these discs. I mean, it might have been better for me just to save my money and buy a proper game, but it just couldn't compare to just finding out what was on these. And, you know, even when we got DVDs, DVDs started to get a bit big. That was a bit of a mission to go through everything that would be on a DVD. I think CD-ROMs were just the right size for exploration. And that is a bit of a 90s, a bit of nostalgia, that seems missing from my life now. I just wanted to share it with you because maybe you felt the same thing back when you first got a CD-ROM drive, when you first got an Amiga with a CD-ROM or a PC or whatever you had. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.